What's up, y'all? It's your boy, eBay. Fight predictions in the building. And my boy, SSG, came in through clutch today. He sent me this, so I'm going to give him some credit for the breaking, breaking news. But Nate Diaz will return against Leon Edwards in the call main event of USC 262 on May 15th. I will give you an early prediction. It's simple. Leon Edwards, by murder, he should commit a homicide on this fool, man. Nate done lost his damn mind. And that's the crazy part about this whole entire thing and this whole entire division. Is that these guys in the Welterweights don't, you know, the top five, they don't fight each other. And, you know, at this point, I hope they do Colby versus Wonderboy so Colby can end that old man and that old man can stop crying about a goddamn title shot, you know. Or they do Colby versus Gilbert and Colby can take out the trash and Leon can take care of Nate. And if Leon beats Nate... As much as I'm not a fan of Leon getting a title shot off of Nate, he deserves it. He deserved it before, uh, you know, the Nate fight. He fights uh, Usman. Colby fights Wonder Boy later. The you know later in if you know a few months. I do not want to see Edwards versus Colby Covington. That is a championship level fight. Those guys should be fighting for a championship. They shouldn't be fighting each other. And I know that sounds a little you know a little crazy coming from me because I I do like both of them. I'm big fans of both of them, and I don't want to see them fight right now. I think that's dumb. You know, these guys are legitimate. You know, guys like fucking Jorge Masvidal, I like to call him street bum, you know, who got fucking 50-45 in his last fight, is getting fucking title shots, you know. That's the state of the division. So if motherfuckers can get title shots off of losses, then don't make these guys fight each other. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. Nate, he's a fool. He's a, I, I mean, he's more than a fool. He's delusional. You know, I, I couldn't watch his interview with Ariel. It was a waste of time. Uh, I, you know, the the guy, I give him a lot of respect for fighting this fight because he knows damn well he's going in there to get murdered. Um, so I respect that. You know, it takes a lot of guts to go out there and know you're going to lose. You know, I, I, I do respect that. Um, you know, <laughs> now I'm just, I, I'm playing, y'all. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he, he's going to get smoked, man. Like, I, I mean, Leon can make this boring or he, or he can smoke him. You know, this is a three-round fight, so it's not like Nate can hit weaponize his pace and get Leon tired. And it's not like Leon has a bad gas tank. Leon can wrestle fuck this dumb dumb. He can do whatever he wants. Now, I implore him to finish this idiot. He has to finish him. Just get one of them elbows, cut one of them eyes, get a doctor stoppage. You never know. Houston is crazy, though, so they might let it keep going and end that fool in the octagon in front of the people. Nate Diaz. Dead May 15th. Y'all gonna see it, baby. But hope you guys enjoy it. This video, this breaking news, early prediction. I'm seeing Leon Edwards third round death. Not TKO, not KO, but third round death. Put it in the books, baby. <laughs> I'm playing, y'all. Y'all know uh, it's just, these are just jokes. You know, I'm just having fun right now. But it is what it is. Go follow me on my Instagram. Go follow me on my Twitter. All those links will be in the description. If you're new, subscribe. Go click the notification button. Click all notifications. Like, subscribe, share this video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation growing. I love y'all and goodbye.